Now, for winding your bobbin, the machine is designed to wind the bobbin while you are sewing. So you'll have two spools of thread normally coming from your thread stand. We'll take one of those threads, we're going to go through that hole, and come down through our tension assembly. You can do what they call a 3-3, three, three, where you can take and wrap it one, two, three times this way, come around, go one, two, three times this way, push it forward, cut your thread a little short, and then wind, and then uh, start uh, winding the bottom. Okay. Now you see that we kicked off a little bit soon on here. If I want to put a little bit more thread onto my bobbin, I'm going to take and tighten this screw down. And what that's going to do is move this finger down a little bit. That's going to allow more thread to come on before it pops off. Now if I want less thread on, I loosen that screw and that takes and uh, pops it off sooner. The other way of winding your bobbin, the way that I prefer doing it, uh, because of the fact that when you do get to the end of your bobbin, this method of winding your bobbin will allow the thread to come off your bobbin without uh, uh, pulling really hard at the very end. So if you tie a knot in the bobbin when you run out, say you're going really fast and all of a sudden you run out, it's going to jam up you know, your machine. So what I like to do is put it through one of the holes, kick it forward, Take and run it a couple turns, snip it off, and go ahead and finish my fill. If you find that you are winding more to one side than the other side, this screw back here allows you to move this assembly left and right. If you're winding too far to the left, you want to move this to your right just a little bit. If you're right, winding too far to your, your white, right, you want to take and move that to your left just a little bit. And it's just a matter of loosening that screw, moving that, tightening it back up again. One thing I did forget to mention is that when winding your bobbin, if you have a real fine thread and it has a tendency to pop out of your tension assembly, You can take and come back through that hole again, and it'll keep it in your tension assembly. You can also adjust how much tension you're putting onto your bobbin by adjusting this screw here. Uh, the tighter you turn it in, the more tension you're going to get. You want to be careful not to go too tight or too loose. If you go too tight, you can get a, a springing effect inside your bobbin, and it's going to cause problems. If you go too loose, it'll actually start tying itself into a knot uh, and make it easier for back spinning or backlashing in your bobbin case.